everybody, what's up? Um, welcome back to another exciting episode of Killer to Sweet Things IGTV. Um, my name is Tiernan Hebron and I'm going to be hosting today's video. Now, if you don't know me, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but if you want to get to know me, um, head on over to the Killer to Sweet Things site and, I don't know, read some of my articles. One of them is about blowjobs and one of them is about my fuck trip across America. And I'm uh, just gonna leave it at that. I hope it intrigues you to go and check out my articles. Um, however, in addition to being a writer, I am also a sexual and reproductive rights educator for Amnesty International. Um, in addition, I am working right now to be a certified sex educator by the American Association of Sexuality Educators, Counselors, and Therapists, which uh, shortened down is ASECT. So um, in order to be a certified sex educator, you have to go through a certain amount of education hours, you have to do a certain amount of like actual experience in the field educating people. So I'm in the process of that right now, but essentially <laughs> I'm just telling you all this so you know that I know what I'm talking about. Because today we are going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite organs and one of my all-time favorite orifices, which if you couldn't guess from the diagram behind me is the vulva which let me just start out by saying the vulva is the correct terminology for female genitalia so normally I would love to use an actual vulva but uh, that would be illegal so we are going to use this 2d model and obviously it is not to scale uh, so you're just gonna have to work with me here so obviously a normal vulva does not open up like this but it just looks so pretty like this. So we're gonna use it like that. The lips ugh, are just gonna be pushed to the side. So let's get started. Now these right here are called the labia majora, um, also called the outer labia. And those are the fleshy lips of your vulva which protect the vagina and the entrance to your body. Uh, they're covered in pubic hair as you can see from my lovely little drawings here. Um, now moving inwards to the blue sparkly um, labia minora, or the inner labia, um, and the way to differentiate between these two, the labia majora and the labia minora, is to think about major versus minor, right? Major is larger, bigger, outside. Minora is smaller, inside, boom. Um, however, there are many people with vulvas who have inner labia that hang lower than the outer labia, and that's totally normal. We all have different bodies, um, which means we all have different vulvas, those of you who have them, um, and they come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, all are beautiful, all are wonderful, so um, just rock that vulva. Um, okay, moving right along to this little friend right here, um, also called the urethra. Sorry, some of my labels are going to cover other parts, but the urethra is where urine exits the body. Um, don't stick anything in the urethra. No penises, no fingers, no toys. That would be very painful um, and it might cause a lot of different infections, so try to avoid that. Um, because what you want to put penises and fingers and toys inside of is directly south of the urethra, the vagina. Um, I put it in silver sparkly because it is magical and wonderful, and when I think of magic, I think of something silver and sparkly. Moving down south past the outer labia, past the inner labia, is the anus, also called the butthole. Um, moving back to the top of the vulva, we are going to reach the holy grail, the clitoris, there she is. Um, you can see that she is located under what, this little blue guy right here, which looks like a hood because it is called the clitoral hood and it protects the clitoris. Um, sometimes to find the clitoris, you kind of got to go digging underneath the clitoral hood because it can hide sometimes. Um, now, even though this clitoris, which you can see barely under the labels, is kind of small on the outside, it is actually a large gland that extends into the body. Um, and it has evolved, this gland, this part of the body has evolved for one reason and one reason alone, female pleasure. Um, and we are going to talk about that later when we talk about female pleasure in depth. 
but it is important to know that the clitoris extends into the body and it actually rests on top of the vaginal wall. So when people who have vaginas experience pleasure from what is called the G-spot, which is located if you put your fingers in and then curl them up, burp, 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 um, that is actually clitoral stimulation. You are, ex you are stimulating excuse me, the clitoris through the vaginal wall, which is crazy, right? Not many people know that. So make sure you know where the clit is. Top of the vulva, underneath the clitoral hood. <sighs> she is the bean that you want to flick. Um, alrighty then, so that is basic anatomy. And uh, next we are going to talk about how to have safe sex with the vulva um, by talking about how to use various barrier methods and how to use an internal condom. So um, yeah. <laughs>